Yo, what is up guys? Back with another instalment of No Train, No Game. And in today's session, it was just going to be focusing on creative piddle type stuff. Now, what do we mean by creative piddle type stuff? Um, it's a term that piddle, it's just a term that us UK freestylers use quite a lot and basically kind of means like creative, intricate blocking stuff, just in case you would um, come across any other definitions. So, it, although it was a shorter session than I would have liked, it was still a pretty enjoyable session and I landed a lot of things that I kind of surprised myself with and never really thought about trying before. Um, yeah, right from the offset, I was just kind of like having fun and in like a really much more patient mindset than usual. Um, this blocking combo was shaping up quite nicely. It had um, nice cross catch in there which I don't always get and then um, the big headphones problem strikes again <laughs> I really do need to kind of sort that out um, basics although I intended not to train lowers I couldn't resist just trying to throw some basics in there as that seems to be one of the only things that the big headphones don't really affect me on but Switching up now to the smaller ones before I resume, and as you may notice by now, this spot uh, is it gets a lot of people walking through it, and that's kind of annoying. It kind of, there's a primary school located right behind me. It's actually the primary school that I went to. Nothing has changed about it whatsoever, but here's where stuff gets tasty because, as I just did there, I did my first ever reverse toe bounce on that foot, and then that's when the cogs were just whirring in my head, like, what can I do with this? And then before you know it, I'm pulling off um, this thing, ending it with a Kamalio move, um, which was kind of out of nowhere, but I was really happy with that, and as was the audience there from the kids in the background. Then I decided to revisit this move, which I haven't done in a long time, and the first one, yep, went straight over the wall, which was not the best attempt, but by um, a couple minutes later, it's coming along nice and consistent and um, got a few ideas in mind of what I could do with this as well. Um, I remember I used to do it with the inside around the world to start as well. Um, I just couldn't resist, you know, trying some lowers just to kind of shock the system. Even though when I don't, I don't intend to train lowers, I always just have an impulsive moment where I'll go for it. And I would have been quite happy if I got that combo actually. It, was, it, was, it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it really though was that I kind of noticed I was kind of creeping back into a bad habit of my weak alt Mitch style. Um, and yeah, as you can see, like generally as the session went on, stuff just got more and more random. But one thing I was really having fun with there was the 360 slaps, um, two in a row I'd never done before. And I'm definitely going to work on um, trying to beat that, but also do some different things with 360 slaps. I think that it's a really nice looking move. Uh, this one, I don't really like that move so much. Like the around the world, but and then healing it back on your toe. I tried to do two in a combo. And then this here is um, a trick that I actually came up with this summer. I remember showing it off to Maka. It's like a outside hop the world, but then healing it back onto your foot. Um, it's quite tricky to coordinate actually. But yeah, didn't get anything else in um, this session. Nothing really uh, noteworthy, can't actually remember what I did with the rest of the time, but yeah, slightly shorter episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Stay tuned for more. Peace.